I literally slept like two and a half hours, so God knows how this reading rush is gonna go, but I will do my best to actually read something short and easy because I hate, I can't function without sleep, so this is gonna be interesting, and I might have to go to a birthday party later today, so this vlog could be like six minutes long. We'll see. Or I might combine it with day four. We'll see. Good, Dan. I'm back to vlogging after a long while. I'm just returning from the post office because I got a package and I will unbox it as soon as I get home because I'm very excited. Hopefully this day will finally actually be a vlog again. Here's the package. I'm very excited. I haven't received a package in months. But this is a giveaway win, actually. If I manage to open it without scissors. <laughs> but I will put the link of the people who gave it to me here below right now. I can't remember the exact username. I think it's the Wheel Reads or something. Like, anyway, it's guys that are just have a podcast and they're reading Wheel of Time for the first time. So they made a giveaway for the hardcover copy of Eye of the World and the below Lord of Chaos books, like one to five. Hardcovers are really hard to find because they're not produced anymore or made or printed or whatever. And I think they're mostly first editions because, yeah, <laughs> there was not a lot of reprinting. So they're very expensive, very hard to come by. So I entered the giveaway, but I never win giveaways. And when I won this one, <laughs> I was so happy. And they were actually really nice because like we had a lot of problems with shipping it wouldn't ship to me and then he tried really hard to get it to me and there was it, basically I've been waiting for this for months and it finally got here so I thought I would just unbox it and yeah I don't think I can do this without scissors so I'll be back in the next clip I opened it <laughs> clearly and I just wanted to say that I'm very thankful for them for actually trying to get this to me because I know I love and not a conventional place for sending stuff to and they're in America so I really want to thank them I don't think they're ever going to see this video but thank you and I'm just so excited because this would have cost me a fortune and now I got it for free and I never win anything so I'm actually so excited and you can get the first glimpse there it is it's been months it's finally here it looks beautiful <laughs> I don't think there's a note, so screw the box, but here it is. I am so excited that I'm actually holding this in my hands right now. And it's not even a used copy, it looks pretty new. I am so excited. It looks, oh it's beautiful. blue underneath oh my god this is perfection and the, it's very floppy pages which is cool like those you know easy to read hardcovers let's see yeah copyright 1990 it might actually just be a first edition oh my god look look at it I am so this is the best vlog ever and I'm just gonna try really hard to make this a vlog just so I can upload this because this is the best I am so excited to finally have this <laughs> I am so thankful because only four more books to go but <sighs> this is so cool and I've never won anything and I actually won something that means something to me so this was very cool I'm just very happy go just behold the collection <laughs> And here we finally have our new edition. <laughs> I love my hardcovers, like they're literally beautiful. I hope I can actually get my hands on the other four. <laughs> Hello, I would like to officially welcome you back to the Roman One Popular Opinions, Reading Rush Day 5. Now, I don't really have to explain myself, but I will because I feel like it's a little bit mean. I skipped day 3 and 4. I skipped day 3 because I had like two and a half hours of sleep. Because I have a very specific sleeping rhythm in summer and my school suddenly decided that it would be okay to hand out diplomas at 9am 
So I had like two and a half hours of sleep. It was terrific. So that whole day I just wasn't functioning. I started <clears throat> basically binging once upon a time on Netflix. <laughs> so that escalated a little bit and I didn't want to do anything but watch Once Upon a Time and finish season one the day afterwards. So there's my explanation. Two days gone. I didn't really think I would be able to complete all the days, especially when I knew I had the school stuff and the documents to send to my university. So I'm sorry, but the last three days I hope to actually update consistently and I'm back in the reading mood. I finished season one. I'm like a couple of episodes into season two, if anyone cares. I remembered why I really loved that show. <laughs> Hadn't watched it in a while, so I don't remember shit from the plot. But anyway, this was the very, very long intro and explanation you didn't ask for, so let's get into what I'm going to read for the rest of the week. I'm looking at my bullet journal here for reference. I have four prompts left to complete. I will still try to complete the seven day one with graphic novels and the, and the like, but I still have four prompts to complete and I realized that I really don't feel like reading Tess Garrison, which is a thriller. I'm not in the mood. I'm really not. And it's not that short, so it's not like, let's read it in an afternoon. So I won't be reading that one. For Body Double, I'm gonna be doing this one, which is Sherlock Holmes, The Sign of Four. It's not that long. I'm going to try and read that. It's definitely a genre that I don't read a lot of, but that creates a problem for a different continent <laughs> because I was going to use Body Double in the U.S. for a different continent, and Sherlock Holmes is definitely not on a different continent. He is in Europe. But just now realized the problem with this. <laughs> Give me a minute, I have an idea. So that's going to be for genre you want to read more of. And I'm still going to read this for Starts With The. It's not long, it's the second book that I want to get off my TBR, like City of Bones. If I manage to get that one off, I will get this one off. <laughs> but it's also not a different continent because it's Scandinavian gods. <laughs> Suddenly I have a problem. But I still have to read my birthstone color, which I had Glass Sword or The Last Name Sara. I'm not sure if I'm in the mood for either because when I read Last Name Sara again, I want to tab it and that is not a short process. Usually when I tab a book, I take longer with it. So I might read a Glass Sword, but I might skim because I really hate that book. It doesn't have a lot of my favorite character. In fact, almost none of him. So I might skim through that, which might be sort of a cheat. And I'm still counting it. I'm still counting it because I will read the book and I have read the book, so it's not like I'm missing the plot. So yeah, that will be. We're still gonna read Glass Sword, The Gospel of Loki, The Sign of Four, and I'm gonna use Glass Sword for different count continent because I mean, it is dystopian US, it's supposed to count. And I have three more days to read. So yeah, I sort of screwed myself over with my break, didn't I? But that's fine, we will do our best, we will read, and hopefully we will succeed. This sounded, sounded like a speech. Anywho, I'm still just very excited about the book that I just unboxed, so I'm having a difficult time thinking about other books. But just like everyone else, I think I'm sort of starting to feel the burnout of reading every day. What I don't want to read, I hate TBRs. And I really want to get back to Earthsea. So, I might even crack and just put Tahanu under one of the prompts, but I'm not sure what it would fit on. It's definitely not a genre I want to read more of. It's not a different content, I mean, technically. It sp <laughs> starts with the, it doesn't, birthstone color it isn't. So, Earthsea doesn't fit in anywhere, but... I really want to read it, so I might just speed through the other books. Anyway, I'm just rambling. It's been three minutes, I can see, on the camera. That's besides the point. I'm going to read something today. I'm going to update you. I'm going to try my best not to watch Once Upon a Time. And that is it. Back to vlogs. Mug the other day, and I adore it. It's like blue on the inside, but I love how it looks. It's one of those that when it's hot, it changes 
pictures, so I'm going to actually show you what it does because it's so cool. I'm trying to do this one-handed. I'm not sure if it's going to work. There it goes. This is actually the first time that I see what it looks like. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's gonna go all the way, I don't think it will, but because it didn't fill it up all the way, but how Rhea appears behind him, I love it. And then I think, yep, that's what happened to L. And it's like this really pretty blue on the inside. I love this mug, I'm very happy that I got it. I have the Lord of the Rings one that also changes with heat. But I love how this looks. This is so cool. Normally I wouldn't turn on the light for reading this early on in the day. But it's very gloomy and there's going to be a very big storm today apparently. So that's very exciting because storms relax me. I was going to turn on some ambient sounds but if I'm going to get real ones I don't really need to. So what I'm going to do now I think is start that. So you can see how it's going, and then maybe I'm going to pick up another dump here or a graphic novel. So we're going to see how that works. I'm going to drink out of my cool mug, and I'm very excited that I bought it. I love Death Note so much, so I'm happy that I finally have some merch to show for it. This is not a good angle. Don't worry, I'm not going to be doing this angle for a while, but I just realized I have one more book until I complete my Goodreads challenge. One more book. Do you know what my challenge was for this year? A hundred books. I'm not going to move the challenge, I think, because I don't know how many I'm going to read, but didn't think I'd really cross that off at, like, just over the halfway point of the year, so <laughs> we'll see. I am dead. Completely dead. I read 100 pages of Gospel of Loki on the balcony, and... Now I just feel a little bit sick, and I have a headache. <laughs> Which is mostly because there's a storm brewing, and it's the 24th of July, and it's really humid. And really disgusting. <laughs> so I don't feel my best. I'm not sure if this is the last clip or not. We will see. But, yeah, I'm taking a break for now. I'm going to watch some YouTube, which is literally littered with vlogs right now. Then I might read another comic and log that but if not I will just sign off edit as quick as I can later and then upload this day I don't think will be too long I'll vlog because I feel like shit so let's hope that tomorrow is better so yes that is basically the update we will see if I will talk to you again kind of doubt it because I feel terrible and I'm probably going to continue my once upon a time binge but yes that is it I'm rambling and I don't feel like putting down the camera in case you can tell it's pretty much storming outside now so I'm gonna make myself some tea probably maybe a snack and then watch my show so I'm done for the day with reading, definitely, because I've had enough and I just want to cozy up. But, let's see what I've read today. I read 100 pages of this, which is, in my opinion, pretty good content. Content. Progress. <laughs> Maybe also content. I read 100 pages. I will definitely finish that by the end of the readathon. I'm going to buckle up tomorrow and read, hopefully, a lot. I'm going to read... I mean these two because I think they're one storyline. I'm going to read them. Potentially read the first one tonight. But maybe. Maybe when I get up. I will definitely read those two though. So I think I will definitely do the. Seven books goal. So that's it for today. Not that much. But honestly it is progress. Because I read squat. The last two days. Now I will edit this. Enjoy the storm. Because I'm always in my element when it's a thunderstorm outside, drink some more hot drinks, and
and that's pretty much it. I hope this vlog isn't too much of a bore, and I hope it isn't too short, so I will see you tomorrow, and I will try to do the racing to read tag also tomorrow. So yeah, a lot of editing fun for me, but that's, that's life. And as funny as it may seem, a reference for anyone who understands. Yeah, that's it. I'm signing off. I will see you tomorrow.